Good morning! So at this campground that we're staying, one of the guys asked us if we wanted to go on a trek with him a couple days ago. I actually fell the other day and I kind of hurt my leg. So I am solo van lifing for a couple days. Danny did text me this morning and said that he is safe and he was getting on his second transport. I feel a little bit sad I didn't go, but at the same time, who's gonna watch the pets? This is a really active trail. You can't really bring the dog and the cat. And we didn't really look up anybody to, to, to watch him. I'm not gonna do this thing, but there are plenty of things that I'm going to do. And I honestly am enjoying the alone time. I'm happy I have this like perfect oasis campground to stay in while Danny's gone and I don't have to move the van. This isn't my first time solo van lifing. And that time I was in Utah and Danny went on a ski trip with his friends. I did get kicked out of a place by the police. I basically spent the entire time going snowboarding every day and then on the days where the snow wasn't as good, I went and did yoga for two days. I really didn't mind being alone that time and I'm pretty sure the same is gonna happen for this time. This is the Peru I always wanted to see. Thanks so much to Mario for inviting me up here. I miss Emily a lot and the animals in the van. It's a pretty popular hike. Everybody seems to be coming down right now. We're about at 14,000 feet and this has been a 2,000 feet elevation gain. Woo. We were able to leave our backpacks down there where we'll probably camp tonight and then continue on for three more days. <laughs> Basically, Mario and I have a bet going here. He says this up here isn't snow. It's a white rock and I think it's snow. So we bet a dinner. One of us is getting a free dinner out of this. Here, I'll show you guys what we're looking at here. I'm pretty sure you're on my side, but we'll find out soon. Mario, looks like you went the wrong way, bro. I think your, uh, your route finding might be as bad as your snow finding. You know, I miss Emily a lot, but it's nice to just be broing out with my homie, betting on things to get ourselves in an avalanche zone. It's near it. You must say nothing. What do you think? Is this water drinkable up here? I'll tell you tomorrow. Buenas noches, sombrita. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, let's get this party started. <laughs> in here pretty late and it was quite chilly. Mario said he couldn't sleep too well. I actually had a horse step on my tent right here. That was scary. But you can see the sun making its way down the hill to meet us here, help us dry off the stuff. Many people have already gone past to do this Salcantay trick. So here we go, day two. We're heading up to the pass. This should be the best part of the trip. The highest altitude portion of the trek. Kind of glad we made it up a little farther last night. We've made a lot of friends on this trek. Four people came up to where our tent was. We were all hanging out while we were getting ready. They're still taking a break, but I think they'll pass us. A couple dudes from Colorado and a couple that are from Sweden and Ireland. Hey. We did it! Woo! <laughs> we made it all the way to the top. That would be the back of that lake, I guess, in Montai. And over here, you can see the trail heading down. What a view! Gotta just smell the roses and enjoy the moment up here. 
And from here, it's all downhill. At one point, Mario said he was gonna grab an ambulance. Scared the heck out of me, but we made it just fine. We're supposed to head down pretty far, probably another six miles, because the weather gets way better down there. We'll see how far we make it today, but just letting this uh, success sink in right here. This is about the best water I've ever tasted. Emily bought me a new filter. It's really simple to use. You just fill up this bag and then squeeze it out and you're done. Super tasty water too. Tiny little kitchen in the campground. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do the dishes over here. At like 6 a.m. whenever Danny was leaving for the trip, he filled up his bladder and he couldn't get it closed. Which is one of the reasons why I don't really like these bladders because they're hard to open and close. They leak, I don't like them. I'm not gonna use them. <laughs> We have another poor little pandemic graveyard here in Cusco. There's some people buying some of these RVs and honestly, I think it's an awesome idea to snag one of these gems half the price down here. the campground it wasn't very exciting just like hanging out with the pets and working and getting some stuff done around the van and I did have an update from Danny and he made it 12 miles today and he wasn't sure if it was gonna be three or four days so I'm pretty sure it's gonna be four Rob asked if I wanted to have a beer at the sunset up near his rig and the French wheel came over too so I hoisted some up and that was pretty funny but you can tell that she wants to go in because she like will try and jump into my arms and like she's way too big to do jump into my arms. Graham came and I didn't bring him with us. We on at the door and yeah, we let him in and he was wandering around Rob's van. It was really cute. And I think he went up Rob's ladder, which is really funny. I've never seen him do that before. Good night. <laughs> some bug spray on well we saw this line here we're wondering what it was and actually over here you could sleep put your sleeping bag <laughs> there's something I don't know just a little fort I haven't heard from Danny yet today so he must be out of range and I can't wait to see all the places they traveled and hear about the past few days for them the Salkan Thai Chuck is alternative to Machu Picchu since it's cheaper and could end at the archaeological site. 
If you're uncomfortable sleeping in tents or carrying food, it's possible to sleep in hostels and eat in restaurants the whole way. And each night can only cost about 60 soles. Although there are tour companies, it's really easy to find the trail and so many people are on it. Hiring a guide is not a necessity. You can support the local community by buying some food or paying to stay at a campsite. Sambrita and I came back from a nice long shopping trip with Rob. Wow, it was a little exciting. <laughs> we went to the market and I got a whole bunch of fruits and veggies. We walked over to the main square to see if we could find a ATM and a Claro store, which Claro is the cell phone service that we both have. We went over to the Claro store and they said, oh, you have to go the next block over. There's another uh, Principal, like a main Claro store. So we go and they said, five stores down is another Claro store and that's the one you want to go to. They're like, no, we can't help you. Two stores down is, is the real, the Principal Claro store. It's not like we went to little bodegas. Why can't you do it here? I don't know. It looks like they're closing. And so we try and walk in and the security guard says, no, you can't come in. A uh, agent comes out and she says, okay, well give me the money and I'll re-up your Claro and then, you know, whatever. Rob says it, <laughs> it doesn't work. Oh my gosh. Give me your phone, I'll take it into the technician. I gave her money for mine. So Rob just sneaks past the security guard and goes in the Claro store. She comes back with his phone and mine and his phone's fixed. She couldn't do mine, so she gave me the money back. I go to the next store and she tells me she can't do it. She says, you're gonna have to take a 10 minute taxi ride. I have a dog, I'm not doing that. Go to the place next door and she says, of course I can put money on your account. We're going back to the vans. Samprito was able to go in the taxi it didn't cost much more. It cost about the same if Sombrita was a person, you know? We paid 10 soles, $2.50, a 10 minute ride. I have been able to get in touch with Danny, which is nice. Sounds like he's gonna be back tomorrow. Hi, Sombrita. Did you like our walk earlier? Our shopping trip together, you enjoyed it? It hasn't been too, too bad being on my own. I guess it really helps that I don't have to move. All right, I'm gonna make myself some popcorn. My super tasty popcorn recipe is three spoonfuls of popcorn to one spoonful of oil. I'm gonna do six of these teaspoons of kernels and, and put them into the bowl. And then I'm gonna take two spoonfuls of oil and put it into the pot. I put three kernels of popcorn into the pot, turn the fire on so that it'll heat up the pot. After the oil heats up, all three of the popcorns have popped. Pour the, all of the rest of the kernels in and then your house smells like popcorn. I'm gonna use salt, nutritional yeast. I'm like outrageously excited for this popcorn snack. Are you guys ready to go outside? So Danny's coming back today. I'm so excited. He said he'll be here between five and eight because they're gonna be taking colectivos all the way back so they don't really know what time. But I'm really excited to hear about his time wandering through the mountains here. My water is running out. So that's gonna be interesting to watch me pour in the water because I can do it. And I've done it before, but I haven't done it in a long time. It's also super sunny right now, so I'm gonna plug in all of the stuff I've been using the past couple of days so that I can charge everything up, especially Danny's computer, because I've been using his computer, it's nicer than mine. <laughs> so Sombrita and I this morning, we're gonna go on a nice long walk. She was able to wander around freely at the campground for a little bit, but when the owner's dogs come out, she has to go onto a leash, so she can't really run around. And that's just because the owner's dogs are pretty small and she really, really wants to play. I think, I mean, it's no big deal for us. And she'll still get outside time just on her cord. There's dogs that want to play, and there's dogs that don't want to play, and this dog doesn't want to play, and somebody that does. <laughs> really is a beautiful little field we found here for her to run around in, so not bad at all. We're gonna head up the trail a little bit. Let's go for a walk. Hmm. 
Hey, we're going on a nice walk together. Oh, look, somebody's got friends. I knew I smelled them. So we were gonna keep walking up the hill, but there's a soccer game going on. So I don't want somebody to steal their ball. <laughs> so I'm gonna start heading down, but I think I'm gonna go off on another little trail somewhere. I feel like I'm back in the US a little bit. It's pretty open spaces. Oh, it's so beautiful. so much surrounded by all these beautiful flowers hi baby jokes on me i got all these stickers but still worth it <laughs> it's always so nice to come home from a dirty truck with a nice clean van so i'm setting up everything so danny is nice and comfy once he gets back we are so excited to be reunited for more adventures together thanks for coming along with us if you like this video subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell if you'd like to donate to our adventure fund we have a patreon check it out and join the family we'll see you guys next time here we are back at the van. Hey! Hey! hey. Oh. <laughs>